guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily, aka Wanderblush here on YouTube, and today I am here with some beautiful faces. We are on the set of A Christmas Carol, which is coming out this Christmas. I'm Stuart. I'm Bonnie. These are our Scrooge and Nell, and Nell plays Scrooge's love interest that breaks his heart because Scrooge is just not always very nice. Yeah. He needs to be nice. Heartless, heartless man. They call me heartless, but actually I, I, I think Nell's the heartless one. She well, just and basically this entire cast is amazing. The whole crew is amazing. We thought it would be a really great idea to film a video for you guys. Since this is A Christmas Carol, we are going to film film the Christmas tags and so I've just got a couple questions and we'll bounce it around and we'll and so, be festive -themed? so festive <laughs> so let's get Christmassy imagine snow okay so first question what is your favorite holiday movie Ooh, um, easy one I'm jumping in there Muppets Christmas Carol I love it's, it. It's so good. I no. I always find things like I love Mary Poppins now. It's amazing. Yeah. It's so good. Oh, Julie Andrews. She's she's a dream. I have to say my favorite one is The Grinch with Jim Carrey. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. That's I can I can literally quote that entire movie. Oh really? Yeah. I've never seen it. <gasps> oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Okay. So next question. What is your favorite Christmas color? Mind you, I haven't really read these yet, so we're just uh, they're weird. Red. <laughs> okay. I think green, actually, yeah. Red or gold? Ooh, that's hard. I'm, I'm all about the gold. You want red with gold? It's a pretty dreamy combo. Yes. Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, have either of you had to ever like be weird things for Christmas? Like you had to like work a job, or you had to like be an elf? Or... No, my first appearance on stage was actually doing a nativity play. And I had to be one of the shepherds. I was gonna say, were you baby? And I wish. I would, I would love to be that part. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone praised you. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh. I had one line, and this is the first bit of acting I ever did. My mum said, "You've got to put real emphasis on one of the words." So my line was, <laughs> "Leap like a words. stag." So I just went, "Leap like a stag." And everyone just burst out laughing. I mean, I was only four or five. And I thought this is brilliant. I've just made everyone laugh. If for you to reform that line, I think I would go. Leap like a stag. Leap like a stag. That, see, that's why she's the pro. <laughs> yes. Well, this Christmas I had to dress up like we were called the Yuletide Carolers, and I dressed in old English attire, and we went around from mall to mall with like our muffs, <laughs> sang some Christmas carols. Have you ever built a gingerbread house? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but it's like, yeah. It's like my favorite Christmas activity. I made one this morning. <laughs> yeah, every day. Do with all my cousins and we used to sort of like fight and argue how we to decorate it. Some people had different ideas and others had and then it would always end up all my like guy cousins would have all the ideas and then leave just me and my one other girl cousin to finish it. But obviously we did the best job. We just used to cover it cover it in as many sweets as you could, yet still get like Hope, hope, hoping that it's stay, stay standing. No, I always felt like it was just it would just crumble after like two days. Cause we would get from like the CVS or like the pharmacy. Yeah. Do you know where we used to get the problem with still do them? IKEA. IKEA. Gingerbread houses. Flat pack. Wow. What about you, Steve? Do you ever? Oh, all the time. Yeah. And because I've got so many brothers, we all had like our own little ones. And then, so once you've built yours, you then have to leave it to set, and that's when you could attack your brothers. So you go and eat. And then no, come back and be like, ah, <laughs> trying to attack yeah. yours. So just attack the gingerbread houses. Um, any Christmas wishes? Do you ever wish for something at Christmas or like world peace? <laughs> We're in a beauty pageant now, are we? <laughs> world peace. World peace. <laughs> I always used to I used to play football like loads as a kid and I always used to put top of my list a football kit and my parents never used to buy it. I think they were trying to attempt <laughs> me to not only wear sports clothes all the time. I wished for a uh, soccer jersey and I got the um, I wanted a goalkeeper top and I wanted Les Seeley from Man United's top and they got me an Arsenal goalkeeper's top. Which, <laughs> they were probably like, it's the same. It's yeah, fine. they were like, you know, it's a goalkeeper top, surely. Like, I'm like, no, no, no. It's not, not the same. Were they rivals? They're, They're rivals. They're big rivals, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was very upset. I mean, I always wish for a dog. And oh, yeah, I always just to Yeah, it was always like a dog or a happen. pony. I always wanted a white Christmas and I feel like the past couple years we get a white Christmas like three days after and then the snow doesn't stop. It's just like a magical kind of feeling, yeah? Absolutely. Okay, what's your favorite holiday drink? <laughs> Mold wine. Mold wine. Yeah. Basically or anything alcoholic. I don't know. I'm Christmas comes, I'm like, where's the wine? I got a big family, where's the wine? Hot chocolate with marshmallows. No, well, actually yeah. I remember it being like the one time I'm gonna have like fizzy yeah. like soda drinks. Like, we didn't really drink sugary drinks ever. It was like Christmas, birthdays, one holiday, that's what it is. Oh. It's a Christmas miracle! Oh. 
<laughs> my favorite memory of Christmas. It's Santa! Oh my Santa. gosh, it's Santa! Donating all my milk for cream and whipping cream. <laughs> Whipping cream. Okay, we'll answer one more question for the camera today. To you, what is the most important thing about the holiday season? Well, being with friends and family, obviously, is the main one. Um, breaking bread with family. It's a phrase, breaking bread, you know, God. So you can just like roll me to the couch and then I watch TV all day. Then you're in pain, but you're like, oh, it's so good. So good. See, since playing Scrooge, I've realized the true meaning of Christmas is to receive as many presents as possible. He's learned so much. He's learned so much. Have a nice Christmas. You too. Merry Thanks. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey. It's the Aladocian. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. He's my Christmas wish. Yeah. Yeah. I think the most important thing for Christmas is just realizing how how good you have it with just like the people that are around you and kind of taking in what the rest of the year has been the ups and the downs and being like, well, I'm still here, I'm in good health, and I'm learning every day. Yeah, this is true. Well, okay guys, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Stay Christmas. tuned for A Christmas Carol. I'll leave all the information that we have for it down below, and we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Oh, right. Peace, love, subscribe. That's my thing I say. Bye. <laughs>